Hello dear students in today's class we are going to discuss about speed and velocity in our previous video we have discussed about what is motion we said that whenever any object is in motion it covers distance we also know that whenever object moves it moves with certain speed so here we are going to discuss about what speed means i have written the definition over here speed is defined as distance covered by moving object per unit time so in a unit time how much distance that object covers that gives us speed of that object formula speed equals to distance upon time or in symbolic form we can write it as v equals to d upon t now pay attention that speed depends on value of distance and you can recall distance is a scalar quantity that distance does not require direction it just requires magnitude as speed depends on distance speed is also a scalar quantity that is speed requires only magnitude but no direction next we have is velocity definition of velocity is displacement per unit time it can be written as velocity equals to displacement upon time and in symbolic form v equals to s upon t where s is the symbol for displacement in physics we know that displacement is a vector quantity that is whenever there is change in direction value of displacement also changes as velocity depends on displacement velocity is also a vector quantity so to explain velocity we have to explain about magnitude as well as direction of the velocity or the object speed and velocity they have same units they are measured in meter per second or kilometer per hour the units can be explained by formula speed or velocity they have formula distance upon time or displacement upon time distance or displacement they are measured in meter time they are it is measured in second and so unit is meter per second for moving vehicles cars etc we explain velocity as kilometer per hour i hope you are cleared with what is speed and what is velocity now in the next topic we are going to discuss about what is uniform speed we have written the definition for that uniform speed is defined as if object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time then it is said to be having uniform speed so in equal interval of time object covers equal distance then it is said to be moving with uniform speed to explain that we'll refer to this table in this table i have made three rows first is for distance then for time and then here we have calculated speed of the object based on distance upon time let us say that in 1 second this object covers 10 meter of distance speed can be given as distance upon time so 10 by 1 is 10 meter per second in next second that is 1 to 2 so in 1 second body covers 10 meter distance so for this interval speed of the body can be given as 20 divided by 2 that is again 10 meter per second distance is doubled and even time taken to cover that distance is doubled so next for next calculation if we take 40 upon 4 we will again get answer 10 so in equal intervals of time body is covering equal distance and hence this body is said to be moving with uniform speed so uniform speed is nothing but a constant speed of object wherein there is no change in the speed of the object if object covers unequal distance in same intervals of time then the object is said to be moving with non uniform velocity or non uniform speed please note here that we can interchangeably use word speed and velocity as we are only considering unidirectional motion or motion in one direction as the object's direction is not changing value of distance and displacement will be same and so even speed and velocity will be same so i am using speed and velocity interchangeably we have said here that when object is covering unequal distance in equal intervals of time 
So for example, here in one second, it is covering 10 meter. In two seconds, it is covering 20. Maybe in four seconds, it ob the object covers 60 meter of distance. So its speed is now 15 meter per second. That is 16 upon four gives 15 meter per second. So in first interval, it was 10. Second interval, it was 10. And in third, it becomes 15. So the object is not moving with constant speed or uniform speed. Such speed is known as non-uniform velocity or non-uniform motion. Please understand that whenever there is change in motion of the object, change can be increasing or decreasing. The object is said to be in accelerated motion. If the speed is increasing, the object is said to be accelerating. If the speed is decreasing, object is said to be decelerating. In our next video, we are going to discuss about accelerated motion and what is meant by acceleration. Stay tuned. Thank you.